everyone welcome back to my channel as the title says this is a collective haul mainly nail polish items and if you like to see what I got please keep on watching so a couple of these things for like hauls stuff that I picked up um, a couple um, not all at once different times some were before project pan and it's stuff that I got out after project pan is mainly for my niece and maybe one other thing for a friend so my niece her birthday is at the end of this month and she's a nail fanatic she is so talented she doesn't have a lot of nail polishes she may have like about 10 in total and that's because she recently bought like a set of like six or seven and if you see the stuff if you check my facebook page i'll link it below you'll see some of her work that she's done and she didn't even have like a brush set or anything like that she just had regular nail polishes that she was using so i picked up a couple nail art pens for her and some other nail polish and i want to share with you because i thought it was so inexpensive and reasonable and I'm actually wearing one because I wanted to try the quality just to make sure that it was okay and I'll share that with you so yeah now there are a couple of things that I did buy for me prior that I did try out and realized that I liked it and so I picked up for her um, before my project plan in addition to that I also picked up uh, like I think lip, some lip liners I picked up a backup of this this is a Jordana lip liner in Superstar if you guys know I would have raved and of course this is dirty because I use it all the time it's a very nice pink if you want a lipstick to give you more of a purple tincture than a pink this one definitely does help it's up like a, a purple pink kind of color then I picked up this one is sexy mauve and this gives you like a neutral kind of rose mauve rose kind of color that's it there but I love these lip liners definitely recommend them and then I wanted to get like um, try some inexpensive nude um, lipstick and so I was recommended to try these um, just Jordana this one is in mauve and this is what it looks like swatch and these can apply sheer so they're not um, they don't give you that opaque opaque sorry and then this one is called grape and it goes well with this lip liner from jo um, from same Jordana so these two work really great together if you want like a natural lip not necessarily nude and you like rose color these that's these two of them swatch and this one is in sexy morph and this is grape both are from Jordana and you can get this um from you can get both of these items from cherry culture I think this is like 150 and this is also 150 from cherry culture and if you are interested in that you can check wonderful world this is 10 um, they bought ten dollars at Wonderful World, and I think these sell at Pennywise. And if you can get this color, which is grape, they're like eight, seven ninety five. I'm not sure if they carry that particular color, but yeah. So those were the, like the lip products. Everything else pretty much is um nail, is nail polish. So for me, I got this. Now, if you know me, I love green nail polish. And I liked, this was like 30 TT dollars, which is about 5 US or less than 5 US. And it comes with melon, green, and I don't, and I, I, I'm guessing the colors. This is, looks like mellow green, TLC, I guess this one, green grass, which would be this. This does look grass-ish color. Let me pull it back. Then you have jazz olive, which is this kind of shimmery one mystic grass which is a kind of shimmery one here and then you have starry meteor which is a glitter with green love this i love green nail polish yes i'm wearing green um so i got that for me i also got this and this is um these are this is from the brand clean color both are clean colors this is green addicts and this one is um, catch my essence and it has like nail treatments you get a cuticle oil which is over here you get a nail hardener you get a garlic nail growth and then this orange color one is a calcium nail strengthener this is the base coat and this is a high shine top coat so I like these small size and I've stated that already in a couple of my videos that I love small nail polishes because um, I don't see I don't use I have so many nail polish that's one and two by the time I get fed up of colors and by the time 
I, you know, used a couple times, I end up dropping it off and leaving it with like these. You know, by the time you use it enough and you get fed up, it's almost finished. So you don't have to, you know, worry about saying, you know, I'm going to waste half of the, you know, bottle, etc. So I like these size and I definitely am going to, um, when Project Pan is finished, see if they have any more of those and pick. Because I thought, like, saw like two or three others, but yeah. I'm going to just pull out stuff at random and then tell you where I got them from because if I have to sort it out, it's going to be crazy. So right on top here, I'm seeing, and excuse the rustle with the bag, I'm seeing two Jordanas and this is the green I actually have on. And I am definitely going to keep this green because I absolutely love it and I'm a green fan. This is Rich Green from Jordana. Absolutely love it. And this is um, Silky Purple. And I love the feel and texture of these. They're not all, they're not matte colors altogether, but there's no shimmer in them. They're like what we would call a satin eyeshadow finish, but they're like really nice. And this is like two coats and they dry pretty fast. And that's what I look for in a polish. Stuff that dries pretty fast. Then I got these for her, and these are from Sleek Slick. I've never heard about this brand, and this was from Pennywise. And I got a silver, this is Disco Ball silver for her, and I bought a gold. And this one is called 91, no name. So yeah, so this is just a glitter, gold glitter, and this was like $60 at Pennywise. So at Pennywise, I picked up this for her, and this is an Arista hip to be green and I think I'm gonna pick up one of this for me also when I am finished I have no idea how these wear so any of these that I say I don't know if you can link it below and let me know I will definitely appreciate it and I think this was like $7.95 really inexpensive or $6.95 then I picked up two clean colors if you watch my um, blog you would have seen my Facebook page, I think, you would have seen these two. These are clean colors, and this is in Tangerine Burst, and this is in Mandarin Burst. I bought this for her because she's a she likes bright colors, but then the spring is also coming, so she's going to enjoy those. And next, I picked up was this LA Girl Glitter Addict, and this is in Inspire. And this is hers. And I actually had picked up a while back two for me. And okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm making such a noise. And these were the two I picked up for me. Um, this one is in this order, which is a very nice kind of grey with gold um reflects or shimmers in it. I'm not really a shimmer person, but it actually is really nice. And this one is like a blue grey, and this is an idol. Same with the gold reflects. And gorgeous gorgeous colors so those are my two and then I picked up these glitters for her I picked up three I'm trying to find the blue for this where is the blue oh the blue is staring at me so I picked up these now I have a little story to do to tell you with this but if you follow my Facebook page you would know so these are the Jordana glitters and I picked up a red for this called red flash and these are what the glitters look like they're like chunky glitters and then you have also the fine ones um this one is called confetti which is a poop is a pink but there's no fine glitters just the chunky ones then this one is called LA City Lights, which I think is gorgeous. I'm definitely going to get me one of this. Um, and it's like blue and a bright blue and purple glitters. I saw these at Wonderful World West Mall for $35, 30 Now these were by the cash shop. I saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, look. And I ran to it and when I look at the price, $35, 30 I was like, what? $35, $30 for Jordana glitter polishes. I have glitter at home. I just need to get a natural nail polish and drop all those glitters inside and, I, inside and I'll have my LA City Light. You know, why must I spend so much? So, I really was disappointed and that's when I went and I picked up this one for her because I thought the color was unique and this was like $10 only. So, I was like, yeah. You know, by the time I get put all the glitters into a natural nail polish, it's going to be valued like about ten twelve dollars so picking up one already it, you know it's not bad but for 35 TT dollars which is like it's almost six US for glitter nail polish I was like no way because I already had tried the Jordana ones and I realized they were so nice so 
I was like, yeah, I want to get it. So, write it off all together. I don't think I did pick up any others. And I said, to myself, I'm just going to buy some clear nail polishes and throw some of the glitters that I have into it and make her some glitter polishes and send it for her. So I went into Pennywise um, to check out whatever nail polishes they had before I finalized my little package and sent it to her. Hence why I'm doing this video for you guys to see what I got. And lo and behold, Pennywise had these and they were $15.95. $15.95. Wow, half the cost, less than half the cost of what Wonderful World had them for. I picked up these three and I was like, you know... They had like green, I think, and another color, gold and something. But I was like, you no, know, for the cost of these two, I would have just paid one on Wonderful World. Oh my gosh, I was like super ridiculous. And then these I paid, I think, like $12 or $14 at Wonderful World. But Pennywise had them for, I think, like $10. But they didn't have some of the colors that Wonderful World had. And I thought for like 2 or $4 more, you know, if I see this again, because I love this green. Um that I would purchase it if Pennywise didn't have it but to be you know almost twenty dollars more nineteen dollars to be exact more come on that that's that that's like oh that's really outrageous really really outrageous anyhow I picked up this orange also for her because this one has shimmers this one is matte um this is the from the LA Girl Addict line I'm not familiar with this line at all except that I bought these when I bought this for her, um, this one is called Emotions. Again, I was trying to get spring colors for her. Then I got this one. Oh, this one is also for me for wood. This is called Antique. It's um, a kind of taupey color, light beige taupe with um, silver reflex in it. So I've not used these as yet. I'm very curious as to how. I've only tried this one and I liked it and I liked the fact that it dried really well. But in terms of rating the whole brand all together, I need you guys to help me. But they seem really inexpensive. I picked up these polishes. I picked up actually this one for her recently because I have one of this and I absolutely love it. And I know she's a purple fan and this is between mauve and purple. So this is a really gorgeous color for those of you who are purple lovers. And then I picked up these two for myself. Um, and these were like $12. Really inexpensive. So I went ahead and picked it up. This one is called the Taupe. Which is of course very natural for work for me. And this one is called Chocolate Taupe. <laughs> so this one has of course a little more brown to it. And I'm winding down. Oh, I know you guys may be like, oh my gosh, I outrageous. Then I picked up this other one, Metallic Mocha. And this is from LA Colors. Not, I think I may have one other polish from them, but not too familiar with them either. And this one is really for like work for me. I may give her this one because I don't think I picked up any like natural color ones for her. Yeah. And nail art wise, this is what I picked up for. Um, this was a recommendation from Miriam. She bought this one and it's um these are the queen color nail to toe nail art. These are the nail art, these are the tinier brushes. So yeah. See. So she recommended this one. She said it's very similar to one of the NYX polishes that she bought, but um she also I think bought this one. She said it was amazing. This is Moon Frost. She's like, um, it's pretty hard. It's like a silver with a tinge of bronze, gold, kind of, but it's more silver base. So I picked up that for her. I picked up a red because you always need a red. Nail art. I picked up this green because um, Mira did a couple nail tutorials and I'll link her channel below. And I've been linking my niece to all of those. And she has a lot of like flower stuff that require leaves. So I thought I'll get a green nail art. So when she has to do her leaves, she can use this. And then she um, also did pick, just picked up a gold because, you know, gold and silver always. I felt this was very close to silver, so I didn't want to pick up another silver. Um, so ju I just picked up a gold for her. But I don't know how well these works. If you do, I hope that these were um, great buys for her. So that's the nail polish haul. I know it's quite a lot um stuff here but i really wanted to send her quite a few nail polishes to help build her collection so that she can start playing around especially for um spring and summer and just have fun with her friends so yeah that's the whole and 
I would like it to maybe get some feedback from you what other inexpensive nail polishes that you know are available whether it's from Cherry Culture, Amazon, EB anywhere um, just leave a comment below linking me to where I can get it or just see any company so I can check it out and any particular favorite colors that you guys have her birthday is really at the end of this month so I have still some time to get a couple things for her and I'm really excited to um, with this because she really, really, really is talented. And I, like I said, I will link my Facebook page. You guys can check her stuff out there. So until next time, take care. Bye-bye.